Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon. And together, they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south, to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. Shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. Man, 
That would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Need to put on the patch I bought. Scored at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Pat thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Of course. Like I want to play fucking hide and seek. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Whoa, hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room! Ow! That hurt! Yeah! I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Are you listening now? Thou shall not enter thy brother's room. What the fuck? Nice job. You started it, butthole. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad. He's totally lying. You little. Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house, too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him. 
But I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... spoiled. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Does that mean I have to babysit him all summer? Okay. Maybe you're not ready to grow up yet, but you will eventually understand. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La la la! Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Damn. Haven't seen you in forever. Dad made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Why are you still here? And don't touch my stuff. Oh, I forgot about Bobby the Yeti. <laughs> I brought it back from that field trip to Vancouver. I mean, who does that? Other than a super cool big brother. Ah, he's right, Daniel. You should totally forgive him. See? I'm not saying it. Bobby does. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. <sighs> so, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself since you're not around as much hey come on it's not like i'm leaving home you might as well i never see you we don't even play games anymore we don't do anything daniel i just i want to hang out with my friends sometimes you're gonna be doing the same thing in a couple of years hi I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd give me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. 
Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Hmm. Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away.
I just hope Chris is okay after that car. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. <sighs> Daniel keeps reading it again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Yep, I'm a real man now. Kind of. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh, hi, uh, yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay, I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. Gotta have backup signs. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. I always spot him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. This map is like his Bible. Ah, can't tag a train without paint. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so... innocent. Glad somebody's getting some action. Gotta say, I'm glad we took some of this stuff. We needed it. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Like you don't get pet enough around here. Did you see all that fog earlier? It's nice to sit here together at night. You don't know what's inside? Like we're a part of something. Like that movie. The sun has saved us. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grab something and sit your ass down. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm. Maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. Zzz. 
You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush, yeah. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Well, at least they can't just screw over workers. Like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear ya. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Diaz. Try my special morning brew. Nice. I like that gourmet shit. I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we... Where from again? Sweden. Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> Holy shit, that was dope. What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja. Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Daniel, I told you about playing with knives. You're too young. You know the rules, dude. Don't stress, man. Daniel! What? Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? He can't do it. Come on. Let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Between the fucking eyes. Damn. Oh. oh. Did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Whew. After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! 
Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He won't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I hate it. Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now. Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but... We stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we going to stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. No, we shouldn't. I've told you a million times that we can't trust her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. Dude, that's how it is. I'm the adult now, okay? Yeah, well, that sucks. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Bid Joe. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. Daniel, hold up. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to give me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Ah. Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late.
Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, knife, just bike. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're across. not listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Please, yes, I am. Yeah, me too. The party. Oh, shit. Cool. Too no, much sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle scope. Oh, was so no. high last night. Are you showing jealous? Cool. No way. You, you be He's a big boy now. Why don't you get out okay. of his way? <laughs> Smart. Yeah, if you get too clingy, people run away. I don't know what I'm talking hey, about. Who's the knife master on here? Death. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for sure in that email. So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> With us misfits. Oh, good. Just hope I won't turn into a dirty hippie if I hang around too long. You better stop talking to me then. I'm the most contagious. Please don't hurt Too late. Guess I'll take your chance. Hey! I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory of Silicon Valley. Bigfoot. Think about it. Big Joe, Bigfoot. Whoa. <laughs> you might be on to something. They both smell? Stinky? Big Joe. <laughs> Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> <Yep>. <laughs> He's kind of a mystery. Hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Sir, yes, sir. Come on, Sean. We're gonna be late. Right. Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, Anders, and what your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. Girls gotta sit in their asses while the males are outside? Yeah, right on. Like I wanna go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you wanna trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside! Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. 
Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Totally. Um, thank you again. Didn't you hear me? I don't speak kiss ass. Sorry, I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. What kind of shit? Jesus, what is this, an interrogation? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Hey. You okay? Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it! All right, we good? Eh, yeah, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. <sighs> what? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Merrill's rules. From now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. But I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Shit. I hate these scissors. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. Fifteen hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are lucky. Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. This. this game sounds bad, man. What is it? You got work to do. Mind your own business. <laughs> okay. I should clean my Whatever, scissors. They're a mess. It's called mustard party, okay? What? You're playing mustard party? Jeez. Going too fast. That's so cool. I used to be Take your sport. time, dude. Cool. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> Joseph. Are you not on the scoreboard? 
Shut up. You got work to do. Dude, I told you a thousand times. Focus. Trim the plant, not your hand. Okay. Jeez. Sorry, Sean. hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay. Just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. Feels like working in a factory. Imagine doing this for years. See? Sean agrees with me. As always. This is fun at first, but it does start to get old after a while. How about stop bitching so much? Sean, you're already on Meryl's shit list. Don't get us all kicked out of here. Just sit and trim. <laughs> Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? what? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. this but for real okay. though if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere cassidy we get it over and over hey come on you don't want to be here give me a break i can't so what so i'm allowed to dream a little you won't get hurt <laughs> promise what about louisiana must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. Uh, I'd love to visit New Orleans. Yep. Yeah. Check out the voodoo okay. shops and the blues band. That would be cool. No, bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. I'll do cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. Oh, this oh, is Joe, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit. It's always something. Uh. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa, down. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please, I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh, don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts, wah, wah. Get off my crack, Hannah. Uh. We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Yeah. Build a house? What? Stop. You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. Shit. How's it going? <clears throat> Same as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go. Ugh. Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. 
Hey, everybody chill. Let's not get- Sean, step back. This is our business. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Anything else? Yeah. <clears throat> but we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? Cheer up, my little Sean. <laughs> Trust me, it's not as bad as you think. Other farms in the area is just straight down exploit your ass. You gotta be careful with those scissors. They're sharp as fuck. Yeah, no shit. Oh, you'll get scars, but you'll get it. Part of the fun. Ain't sexier. Later, Big Joe. Smile, asshole. So, did you have a good day at work, honey? Actually, kind of fun. Cass and Hannah cracked me up. They're like sisters. <laughs> yeah. They love to start shit with each other. Then get high. Short-term memory loss. How was your day? Did you have fun outside? <laughs> nope. Picked up branches and shit. Got covered in mud. Would not recommend. Still sounds better than sitting on your ass all day. I feel you, Sean. As always. That's why you're such a good fit for the family. You totally hooked us up. A job. Cash. Friends. Safety. Sean. Everybody's cool with you two. <laughs> Daniel is your secret weapon. I don't know. He's way too young for this bullshit. You gotta be zen about this. The more you try and control him, the less you have. It's deep, huh? Swear. He acts just like me. <laughs> That's how I know he's smart. He's also got a kick-ass hermano. <laughs> My brothers are like that. So, what's your story? Um, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but... Yeah, I was pretty lucky. My parents were okay. <laughs> I had three big brothers who spoiled me. Aw, <laughs> you were the baby boy? Like Daniel. <laughs> but my family was kind of... Mm, messed up. My dad was like a front for... Hot cars, yeah. He'd steal, strip, and sell them. My brothers and I helped him. You know, typical shit. Till we got busted. <laughs> Fucking feds wanted me and my brothers to testify. <laughs> but my dad narked on us instead. Damn, Finn. That sucks. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I went to jail. When I got out, I was like, fuck everybody. <laughs> so I hit the road, Jack. And anyways, I found a cooler family out here. You know, I love traveling, checking out new things. Yeah, never gets old. 
Well, going to Mexico is the ultimate road trip. If we make it there, dude, who knows? It's pretty scary. So fucking far. Hey, hey it is. But you have time and a strong, uh, damn it, uh, will. Yeah. N nothing can stop you from going there. Uh, it will be all right, Sean. Don't worry. Okay. Therapy's over. Oh, yeah. I gotta move those water tanks for the shower and stuff. It's cool you're doing your part, Sean. Finally. Glad I can help. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Hey. Hola. <laughs> Hey, esta señor? <laughs> Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Estás ensayando para la voz? Uh, no comprendo. <laughs> Don't laugh. Still learning, professor. <laughs> At least you're trying. Hey, am I bugging you? <laughs> Never. But let me finish this new song before I forget it. Don't let me get in the way. Talk later. Damn, Sean. Can you try and be less shy sometimes? What up? Uh, the usual. Carving some wood. I learned wood carving with an Inuit native back when I lived in Alaska. It's an antique technique. Helps me vent out and focus. Yeah, I just let my hands sculpt the wood, and sometimes I have good surprises. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. It's actually a cool cowboy thing I've been trying to do for a while, but I, I suck at this. It's just fun to relax. Finn is too punk rock to be a farmer. <laughs> I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Finn's attitude is so nonchalant, like he's not bothered by anything. Hmm, pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool, I think I'm ready to draw this. Boo! <laughs> Man, you are so focused when you draw. That's cute. Yeah, um... Thanks? <laughs> Let me be the judge. Whoa, whoa, give it back. Please, Cassidy, do not even look. Whoa, down boy. Really, Sean? I didn't mean to freak. Stop this tortured artist shit. Share it. Come on. Fuck. You're good. Oh, no way! That looks exactly like him. He would love it. Don't you think that's weird? Why would it be? Don't overthink everything, Sean Diaz. Well, I could never draw like that. What's your secret? I don't know. I just get inspired by the things I see and do. And uh, being around people like you helps. A lot. Hmm. Looks like Finn does inspire you, huh? Watching him has taught me a lot. Yeah, he has this kind of aura. You know, he, he found us this place and helped us pull through. Yeah, but we don't always have to suck up to fuckers like Meryl. 
Most of the year, it's just us. The road and us. Yeah, but... Life isn't easy going from place to place. I don't know how you do it. I mean, I do because we did, but it's still hard. <sighs> Hope we can just get to Mexico. Oh, you will. You guys came a long way already. You're tougher than you think. I mean, the trick in this country is just to survive. I guess. <laughs> I do like traveling around, but I want a base. Will you ever go back to Texas? Going back to all the crap I left behind? No way. So, tell me. What do you miss about your old life? <laughs> Being carefree. Like, I miss not having to worry about Daniel 24-7. Just want him to be safe. He's not gonna have what I had. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. But... Things change, right? Yep, so keep moving forward. You have a good heart, Sean. I think you could use some alone time. See you later. <laughs> so, Hannah? How long ago did you come here to Humboldt for work? Almost done. Nine years. I love Santa Fe because of hell. No money. How's the dish master? Great. North, so much fun. How about I taking a break grow. to help your I big bro move some, some water to attack me up in our I have to finish my chores, dude. That is awful, Hannah. So much fun. All right. I came back to Humboldt because of Ben. Uh, got this sweet deal with Meryl. Let's get these over to the kitchen and shower. It is nicer here than other places we saw. Too many junkies and homeless. They go together sometimes. No home, get high. What the fuck else are you gonna do on the street? Clean it up. We see so much trash. Not everybody has time to fucking recycle or compost their shit. Especially when you live off the grid. We all should try. It's everybody's planet too. Sweden is not perfect. But we try to be more eco-conscious. We only have one planet. Not for long. It's true. We gotta do something. That's what we're saying. Blah fucking blah. Taurus talking shit again. Like you guys have it so hard. We did not say that we did. Tell me again how many hours you spent on a plane during your awesome trip around the world, and then you come crying about hobos spreading garbage in the forest? Good point. Now you're here sponging off us trash on an illegal pot farm with a tourist visa lecturing us. Funny, right? Hannah, I'm sorry. We were not trying to lecture you. We are grateful we found that job and that you let us stay in the camp with you guys. I know. We're cool. Do you hate us now? You're funny. Don't worry. You'd know if I hated you. All I care about is my family right here. These three gutter punks. The rest, none of my business. Not used to peeling potatoes, huh? A lot of work. I know how to cook. Just not everything. Yet. Yeah, but you hate it. You want a pizza, watch TV, I can tell. Like those kids who come through here all psyched, and they have to bust ass, and they're gone. I know I have a lot to learn. I mean, you've been doing this for years, right? Pretty much, 10 years or so. 
I know, I know. We all got scars of our own. I just fucking hate phonies. Too many here. Crusty backpack doesn't make you one of us. I know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Last thing I want is to interfere with your group. I'm not saying you can never fit. Just letting you know how it is. You can't be part of our family unless you open up. This is a family too, not a pit stop. Out in the wild, sharing is caring. I know, just hard to start all over. It's like rewiring my brain. Everything's different. Yes, it is. Been there. Long time ago. You don't have to tell me, but how did you end up on the road? My community was a mess. Too much wasted talent. My mom, she was an artist and a drunk. Tried to get her into rehab countless times. Worked my ass off to buy her paint and stuff. Until I realized she was just returning everything to Z-Mart to get the cash back to buy her booze. I just knew I had to get the fuck out before that curse would get me to. I'm glad you're at peace now. So, how did you hook up with the others? Met Finn at some squat when he got out of jail. Young punk, but old soul. We just clicked. Then we ran into Cassidy a year ago, pissed at everything. Hurt, unable to commit to anything, except us. Then Pennywise found us, here in Humboldt, tripping about his friend Jinx. But, you know, he just fit in. Now we're all pretty fucking tight. Hell yeah, you are. It's awesome. So, are you satisfied? with your life now? I'm grateful for what I have, yeah. Not everything is perfect, but we got balance, prospects. That's way more than I had before. Thanks for taking the time to talk, Hannah. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, didn't mean to grill you, Sean. It was a long day. Whoa. Hannah's tough to figure out. Don't fuck with her. <sighs> Let's carry this one to the kitchen. One step at a time, Sean. Now let's put this tank next to the kitchen. Those guys sure know how to live outdoors. They've taught me so much already. Whew! That's it. Finally! Gonna wait for you near the lake, dude. Don't forget me. I won't. See you there. Trimming is hard. How do these guys keep coming back? Sweet. But can you do it without your power? Well, you never bothered to teach me, so... I found my own technique. Onward. 
Ready to rumble? I am so ready. Hold up. Too many people over there. Let's hit the other side. Hey, can you move that tree trunk? Duh. I wasn't going to drop it on you. Very funny, man. Okay, let's have some fun. Hmm, let's try this. I want you to focus on these ugly mushrooms and blow them apart. Dude, it's toast. I'm waiting. Or maybe you... What the? <laughs> I told you I rule. Bet it's... Uh, think you can lift all those? I know I can. Whoa, Daniel, that's a, that's amazing. Is that all you got? Pick a rock, any rock. Okay, and? Let's test your aiming system. Target in sight. Locked and loaded. Awesome! Okay, you're good. Now, let's spice things up a bit. Bring it on. Holy shit! That was not a fair fight. That's right. What's next? That was some next level shit, Daniel. I can do anything now. Hey, don't go crazy. This is still a secret. You didn't tell anyone, did you? No way. Why would I? Not even Finn? No. Jeez. You don't even trust me. Whatever. What's wrong with you, man? I don't like this new emo Daniel. You keep throwing your attitude at me for no reason. Sick of it. Listen, I think Finn is a bad influence on you. You're just jealous! Yeah, hell no. Why do you say that? Because you always show up whenever we hang out. You hate him! Knock it off! I... I do like Finn. I mean, never mind. That's it, enough. You're being a brat. I can't say anything without you having a shit fit. We're family. We still have a long way to go. And we have to go together. Right? I know it sucks. But you have to grow up now. Stop it! Stop it, Daniel! No!
I got serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat bowl. Take a piece of puzzle. You're getting tired, babe. The Shenmue. Had a long death to lick ducks. I took both roads everywhere Whoa. they went. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO. I'm serious, man. Look. They're finally coming to take you back. It's giving. I'm ready. I'm willing. Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. I love your voice. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <clears throat> hint, hint. John, take a puff and pass it to your friend. Um, sure. I'll take a hit. Daniel, no fucking way. How come you can, but I can't? Because I said so. That is all for us. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it, like 10 o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Go sleep night. tight. Jeez. I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah, something like that. A year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass, and black flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers <laughs> called the cops on us. I had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. End of story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. Here's to Black Flag. Sorry about your pup, Hannah. Fuck it. Mm. That's life. Yeah. Or death. Oh. Yin and yang, right? Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. <laughs> Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We all need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? Penny? Cool. Bust out the violin. Check this out. Say mm. hello to my little friend. Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust to no one before. We used to come here every now and then, hook up on cash, but he disappeared. A few miles north from here, in a pie farm just like this one. He went out one night, high as fuck, and zoomed. 
That was the last time I saw him. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yep. Oh. He must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Mm. Shit like that happens right here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small world. I'll hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. A true mm. believer. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. Small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me, and I started doubting myself. It kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for. Even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just... Needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. I miss them too. Just not the other stuff. You probably did the right thing. I hope you find the space and answers you need. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh, uh-uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else, <laughs> Whoa, no. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down, like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And our doggy mushroom, who was killed and taken away by a puma. Then, I lost Chris, because we had to run away. Again. He got hit by a car. I don't even know if he's alright. But more than anything, I miss my best friend. My dad. Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you. I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah. Life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow. Like a... river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. Come on, bull fucking Oh, you shit, started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just got to focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Want to know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and sing and 
drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. That's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. A teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready to crash too. Let's go. What? No. You're gonna miss our makeover skills. I'll fall asleep. And then you'll turn my ear on. Oh, get out of here. Good night, Finn. Night, night. Sweet night dreams, See you in the morning. You didn't have to come with me, you know? I know. Hey. Can we talk about what happened on the lake? Yeah? That was pretty wild when you lifted that... tree. I didn't know you could do such... things. Since... when did you... I didn't know either. I was just upset. It was the first time. Yeah. No shit. Just, don't be so pissed off all the time, Inanna. I try. I swear. Then, I think about what happened to us. I just want to rage. I just wish I could have a normal life again and stop being so angry all the time. Hey, I'm sorry about your bad memory. Thanks. You're not alone, and you still have friends out there who care. Bet they think about you every day. I'm... I'm sure Chris is okay. We'll get in touch with him as soon as we can. I just miss them all. Noah, Lila, Mushroom, even Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just so tired of all this crap. I feel the same way, dude. It's okay. Just... Don't feed the beast, you know? Yeah. You know... I still like it. But... It's kinda tight on me now. Yeah. You're too big for it. I am? But... I would like to hear about the Wolf Brothers. If that's okay. Just don't tell the others. Okay? Promise. All right. Get comfy. Where were we? Oh, yeah. The Wolf Brothers joined a pack of hounds that roamed all over. Finally, the brothers had found new friends. But the little wolf wasn't so sure about the new pack. He didn't want his brother to run away with them. 
And so the little wolf would howl and prowl, not knowing what was going on. But he didn't know that nothing could ever separate the wolf brothers from each other. Ever. No. Sean! 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 Okay, this is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Seriously, we have to save every dime, so... 
hookers will wait. <laughs> Trust me, they will. So that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah, like your beach house in Costa Rica? Okay, let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know, but we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes, and don't do anything. Nothing. Jeez, I heard you for the millionth time. I hope so. Okay, we'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. <sighs> Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't move! Now explain! That sneaky fucker! He was snooping around your living room! No, I wasn't! I was just bored, so I came in! Uh, shut up, Daniel! Seriously! Let Shh. him go! I told you. Come on, Meryl! He's a kid, not a thief! You wanna frisk him? Look at him! He's just following his big brother! Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir, quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Ow! What the... <sighs> okay. Okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh... Big Joe, my friend.
Wow. Well, that's it. Believe it or not. Told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. I am. It's all going so fast, I'm... fucking lost sometimes. It's okay, Sean. I know what I'm doing. Man. So, Sean, maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Nada. Zero. Nothing. Trust me. I tried. Really? When? Do you have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. Doesn't matter anymore. He's got it, and I have to deal with it. Dude, I have to deal with it too. I mean we, but I'm the big bro here. So I have to make sure that you're safe. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise, you can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. Ah, uh, hold up. You know... There's a lot of money around here. Oh no. What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. It's like a fucking ATM. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Ugh. Getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I didn't think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think you did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. <laughs> so should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo.
What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude, I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. So what? It's my power, not yours. I trust them. I know, but what if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I can stop them anytime I want. Jeez, Daniel. It's not... At least this will all be behind us once we reach Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. It will be so weird to not hear his stupid voice all day long. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So... What are you gonna do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, <laughs> I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. it took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family, just me. Always trying to find a new daddy or new bros. Yeah, stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off. Start over all for myself. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're starting all over. And now, you just got to take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel, right? I know you're right, Finn. It's just a fucking lot to think through. <laughs> no, it's not. You just got to trust your gut, Sean. Life will follow. Yeah. No, he's gonna be all right, laddie. You, uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit after all this. You deserve the lotto for life. Seriously. How are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. You don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Are you positive we can do this without getting busted? Absolutely. Candy from a baby. Mm, okay. Fuck it. We're in. Yes, fucking A. You are the man! <laughs> I knew you and me were the same. I felt it from the start. I also thought it'd be cool if you and Daniel stayed with us after we're done. Really? You'd be cool with that? Only if you are. No pressure. I'm really glad we met, Sean. I feel like we have a strong connection. <laughs> That's me. I always getting obsessed over people I meet. <laughs> I 
Sorry about that. <laughs> I... I think I feel... the same. What are you afraid of, then? Nothing. I think I'm gonna miss this place. No shit. I love it too. I'm so fucking glad we ran into you guys. This was... the single best experience in my whole life. Yeah. It's always a wild ride. I'm glad you're on board now. I mean... if you're in... looks like... You're ready for the long haul. Yeah. I feel... different now. In a good way. Right on. <laughs> you sure ain't no puff anymore. There's so many things we can do together, Sean. Yeah. I'd like that. So, um, how do we work this out tonight? It's early, so just go party. Hug everybody goodbye. Then talk to Daniel and come get me when you're ready. Cool? Cool. By the way, Sean, it was a cool moment. Wow. That was... wild. Never thought I could actually do it. So glad I did. I... kind of want to do it again. Okay, shut up.
We've been... Hey. Everything okay? Diaz, my favorite straight-A student. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. No, don't. I can go. If I'm interrupting, or... Don't worry, we're done. I think I need some alone time anyway. See you later. Cheer up, sister. What's going on? Don't worry about that. Secret girl talk. I'm so bummed you guys are leaving. No shit. Are you still going to Mexico? Yeah. At least we have to try. It's cool you have a goal. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here. But they want more cash. Then Finn likes to get his weed on. Just tell Finn. He can get high anywhere. Damn. He'll listen to you. Oh, yeah. He'll listen and ignore me. If we're a family, Finn likes to be the big daddy. And Hannah will tell me to fuck off. It sucks. Yeah, well, now you're free. You and Daniel are the real rebels. <laughs> Whoa, down. Fuck that shit. It's fiesta time. Even if it's our last night here, we'll meet again, Sean. One thing I learned traveling is how small the world is. We already met twice. Why not more? Even if we don't, we'll be fucking cool memories in each other's mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But the best way to remember somebody is a tattoo. <laughs> Ready? Wait, are you serious? Goddamn right. This is like your initiation ritual. Don't be scared. Cass is here. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's... Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes. Here comes your street cred. What's your favorite game? <laughs> yeah, um... I'm not sure I... I'm joking. It'll be super cool. I swear. So, what do you want? Think hard. Um, a wolf? Thingy? But not to cringe, okay? Boy, you won't be disappointed. Here's to your first tattoo, Sean Diaz. All right, put your arm over here. You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. <clears throat> hey! <sighs> Don't move, sweetie. But it fucking hurts. <laughs> what did you think this was? Doodling on your arm with a pen? Don't worry. You won't feel the pain, eventually. Better? Mm-hmm. My poor city boy. At least I'm sure you'll never forget me now. Where did you get your tattoos? Oh, shit. Lots of places, dude. I get new ones <sighs> all the time. Often when I'm bored or drunk. Don't you have any regrets? <laughs> the number one question. Nah, they're all parts of me. Good or bad. Or neither. Okay. This is just skin, Sean. Like a sketchbook you'll carry around all your life. You never regret what you write in a diary, right? Only read it with nostalgia. Whatever memory it holds. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. Sounds pretty cool. And... I'm done. What do you think? It looks good! Thanks. A lot. I love it. I'm glad you like it. This will keep it warm for the night. You'll need to buy a healing balm when you can.
hey, you know what? I think I'll have a swim in the lake now. Come with me. That was cool. Hope I don't look like a clown. I actually kind of get why they all wear tattoos. Feels like you belong. Lila would go completely nuts if she knew what I just did. so sad, little man. Uh, I miss... I miss my playbots. What are playbots? Like robot stuff? Play... bots. Not playbots. It's for video games. Ah. That's why I don't know it. Sorry. I just... It's hard for me to say some words. Daniel, you got nothing to be sorry about. That's who you are. Everybody is different. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Sarah. St hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, yeah? Over here. What's up? You gonna get pissed at me again? No. Come on, dude. Now listen. Finn told me more about that safe. Said it'd be... easy peasy. I think... we could use that cash. It would save our ass... for our trip. I know. So, do you want to do it, or what? Thinking about it, but... it's up to you, Danny. Me? Yes. Yes! Let's do it. We can eat anything. Stay in hotels, poop in doors. <laughs> so, are we gonna do it? Huh? Yes, we are now. But seriously, don't do anything unless I say so. If something happens, run away. Oh man, nothing's gonna happen. I mean it. Don't even think. Run. Jeez. Okay, I'll run. Promise. That's what I want to hear. Love you, brother. Me too. So, are we going? Big Joe better be asleep, man. Oh, he's down for the night. Fuck him. Maybe we could take some of his cool stuff, too. No fucking way, Daniel. That house is a death trap. Big Joe probably has an arsenal. The whole place is probably booby-trapped. That's not our mission. Oh, man. The gate is locked. We just gotta get inside and get some wheels. No way I'll break that. Guys, this one's on you. Daniel, maybe you can... Uh, you better step back. Try to keep it quiet. If you can't, Big Joe might wake up. Watching us now. 
Quiet, Sean. Listen, see anything? Mm. Oh, thank God. Okay, troops, we're invisible now. No lights, no sound, no nothing. Cool? <sighs> yeah. I'll try that truck. Cool. What do you want me to do, Finn? Just watch Big Joe's house to see if anybody pops out. You good? Okay. Guys, that triggers. Check the other door now. No movement in the house. I think we're good for now. Thanks, partner. Keep up the good work. And be careful, Enano. Maybe the car then? One door left to check. Check it out. So, all the doors are locked, but we just gotta get into one car. I, I think I can get that truck started. What? How? Talk. My dad was a mechanic. He once showed me how to hotwire his tow truck. Just in case. Sean is a fucking repo man. <laughs> that is hot. Plus, we could, uh, mess with all the other cars. So Big Joe can't follow us. You're starting to scare me. You're too good at this. Ah. Oh, cool plan, bro. We can look for things to use. Anything destructive. I feel that. We can break the windows and shit. Just keep quiet. Maybe this fits in one of the cars. money is in the safe enough for everybody little man I mean little rich man yes we can do whatever we want yeah all we gotta do no is get this open like I said. open up you piece of yes Sorry, Big Joe. Your truck is fucked. Not gonna follow us now, motherfucker. So? 
Find anything? Maybe we can get in through here. No way. Shit. Broken. Daniel, can you open that window? Watch me. You can climb in that back window and open the doors. Let me try. Just be careful and quiet. Sweet. Hello. We got this. You're good, Diaz. Just hope we didn't wake up the dragon. No stress. Wasn't that loud? Okay. Let's do this. Do this. Ready, little man? Yes. I'm not scared. That's what I like to hear. We're gonna be in and out. I'm glad you're with me, Sean. To the end and shit. Right? To the end and shit, man. Listen. We have to be totally quiet now. I've got the kitchen keys, so we got an easy entrance. Here you go. Whoa. Nice job. Get in. Bust that safe. Grab the money. Then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust me. Let's move. Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Really? Fucking A. Meryl can be cool. But he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't get a rat's. By the way, careful, guys. Place Daniel rigged with cameras. See that surveillance camera? Totally. I got it. Ew. This place is creepy at night. Come on. Pot isn't scary.
It's blocked on the other side. Gotta find a way to get that bar off. We sneak in, Daniel opens the safe, we grab the money, then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? Well, well, well. Come on in. All right, move your asses over there, fucking amateurs. Uh, Meryl. Now. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. So, what was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no, it's not about you. I thought you were different. Smart, but you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. I can't just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy. Or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads! Don't do this! Don't! Come on, sir! We... We could talk! I'm serious! On your knees! Now!
Do what he says. Don't worry. We're on our knees, okay? Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel? You got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't ah. fucking move. It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. Can't let you play me anymore. You shot. Daniel, do it!
This is it, son. You're toast. End of the road. No way out this time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Alone.